Oh, that's a good question. So the question is, why do I prefer agile consulting over agile coaching? And for me, it, I believe that, that, that leadership within your organization is a business critical function, right? This, this is not something that you should be outsourcing to somebody else. And I feel like too many organizations bring in coaches who are there semi full time, probably over a number of years. And those coaches are bringing leadership to the organization. They're filling the gap between traditional organizational leadership and agile leadership. And they become a crutch for the people in the organization. And the people in the organization don't actually learn to do things differently. Um, it's like, for if you were to equate it to software engineering, it's like the, the, the mythical rewrite of a product, right? You go rewrite the product, but you don't really realize that the people that built the crappy code coded product you have right now are the same people that you've got doing the rewrite and why would you think it would be any different right and it's this is exactly the same thing you have the same people in your organization so when those coaches rotate off either because budgets get constrained right because that goes in fluctuations over the over the the years we're in a budget constrained environment right now um and we're seeing big swathes of organizations divesting themselves of agile coaches and scrum masters mostly in the contracting space because um they're they're not seeing the value right they're not seeing the value anymore and those people are leaving and then the organization's falling back into its old traditional practices because there was no actual learning taking place inside the organization so the way i look at it is an agile consultant's job is to go in in a very short space of time, help people in the organization understand what they need to do and how they need to change and work on their mindsets. And then they're the ones doing the work. They're the ones taking it forward. They're the ones cleaning up their own mess and dealing with uh, uh, the issues that are a result of their decisions. They're the ones learning, right? Um, so, so then you've got that intrinsic to the way your organization functions now so when the agile consultant leaves they're no longer that crutch right so a, a normal engagement model for me is to to only work full-time with a team for for a couple of weeks maybe a month tops i think the longest engagement i did was was three and a half weeks um but then come back periodically um and help with advice for, for the scrum masters, advice for leaders in the organization, have those constant touch points where they're, they're bringing me some of their problems and I'm helping them figure out other things to try, right? That might, might help resolve them. So then I'm not in full time, I'm not helping them full time.